Hello, Epic Mickey fans. Since there is no current CFR tutorial setup, I took the liberty and decided I would be the one to make the first one. This will give you a guide to getting CFR in DVC1 and it will help you actually get a run out of Dark Beauty Castle. Now, as you can see in the clip in front of you from Tortuga, CFR helped me get that cutlass early. And there are many places just like this where CFR is crucial for time save throughout the run. So if you plan on being successful in Epic Mickey speedrunning, you're going to need some CFR. So let's dive right in. I'm going to teach you how you can roam during those cutscenes and become the great Epic Mickey speedrunner you are always meant to be. First thing to note is that getting CFR is based entirely off of how you interact with the second control panel. Now, after you hit the control panel once, you're going to want to run directly in between Gus and the control panel. And basically all you do from here is you're trying to press A and spin the Wii remote at exactly the same time. Now, if you do this in any way, Gus is going to give you one of two text boxes. The first voice line that you can trigger when talking to Gus is, when you're ready, come to me and we'll get out of here. That is the voice line you're looking for, as it will successfully skip the cutscene and give you a shot at getting CFR. However, there is another unfortunate voice line that you can get and he got when Gus says, break this control panel and the mechanical arm will be shut down. If that instant occurs, then it's, it's just an instant reset and you got to try again. Keep in mind there are two minutes in between each attempt, so be patient. When you finally get Gus to say the correct voice line, which believe me, it can take a minute. There's actually another issue that comes up when trying to get a CFR, and that is the timing of getting to the door. Now, after you skip this cutscene, you're going to want to run directly to the door, but one of three things can happen. Either you go too slow, you go too fast, or you get it just right and you got that sweet, sweet CFR. I'm going to show you some examples of each one of these instances, and I'm going to show you one of my ways that I get to the door in a consistent way. First, you know you go too slow getting to the door when Gus talks about the special secret room before you get to the door. Then you know it's an instant reset, try again. Now on the opposite side of the spectrum, you can also go too fast when trying to go to the door. Now I couldn't find a clip of this, but you know you go too fast when the Gus starts talking about the secret room after you go through the door. After you skip the whole cutscene, Gus will start talking about the room and you know you went too fast. Now I know what you're thinking. You can go too fast and too slow. You're not even guaranteed CFR when Gus gives you the correct voice line. Well, I've been through many, many, many failed attempts of CFR, and I think I've finally devised a way to get to the door in the perfect amount of time. I'm going to share that method with you. First thing you're going to know is that I found that holding A in a jump is longer than just tapping A, and that will be crucial in getting to the door on time. Now, after you successfully get the cutscene skip, you want to hold forward and do a big jump onto the first railing, followed by two big jumps and followed by a spin, landing pretty close to the edge of the corner of that one piece of wood you saw. You know you successfully got CFR when the skippable cutscene and Gus's text boxes line up. Now, keep in mind that if you die or soft lock anywhere throughout the rest of the run, you will lose CFR and gotta reset. Happy grinding. 